most of them, or in fact all the books that are written about Detroit, obviously concentrate on, on Motown because of the, the, uh, the success that they had. Obviously the music was phenomenal, they had uh, you know, the, the best, they creamed off the best and tried to restrict other people from having the success that they wanted to monopolize. But, um, yeah, yeah, I think it's important to think about uh, like where um, the the music comes from. Where, where we live, we were looking at America, and you've got Philadelphia, Chicago, Detroit, New York, and we could have a, an overview. We could see all of it. Whereas Americans living in Detroit would hear Detroit music, living in Philadelphia, Philadelphia music, unless the records became national, and then the distribution was was much better. So we had we had a bit of a, a, a unique view of things, which yeah, and it wasn't success either. You know, we we didn't care if that record was a flop in the charts. You know, we didn't give a toss. In fact, we stopped playing it if it was in the charts. Well, yeah, was there, there was several weeks. Couple, you know, it, it was we wanted the rare record to create it by having all those talented people that somehow just didn't have to be in, in the right place at that particular time. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, equally, like Chicago had what, yeah, Curtis was, Mayfield, the Impressions, Jerry Butler. Yeah, there's a, there's a different chess style label with, with. Yeah, because I mean, when we're back in the day, we could tell if a record was from Detroit, or if it was from Chicago, or if it was from New York, or if it was from Memphis, simply by. You know, you look at history of blues, history of jazz, R and B is being touched on a bit more, but like, th there's a lot about jazz written. There's a lot about. Uh, blues written that, and people have gone looking and Americans are looking more. Well, I mean, it has been a lot of English people coming over, you know, trying to find out about black music. I don't know why. Somehow white Americans don't seem to be. Well, I think it's success oriented. You know, we, I was saying before that we didn't have, we, we're not restricted by the fact that these records weren't successful and we're not really, we don't care about that. We can sort of just listen to a record and do it well that is or isn't a good record that appeals to me or it doesn't appeal to me without looking at uh, a billboard chart to, to tell us what it is or what it did and the fact is that these weren't billboard successes that they were just records that were issued and didn't have the promotion didn't have you know the financial backing that it takes to, to make a successful record um thank you so much guys um that uh Conclude, almost concludes our um, hour-long um, wonderful, wonderful um, listening to these uh, tunes, and uh, we're going to play one more um, by The Holidays called I Lost You, and this is so perfect for me right now. Um, so um, this is Arts Focused, you're listening to C-Jam, uh, Brent is up next. And uh, with Queer Radio, and uh, I'll see you next week, uh, same time, same place.
And tonight I have music, news, and information from the book Free Your Mind, which is the book for gay, lesbian, and bisexual youth and their allies by Ellen Bass and Kate Coughlin. I'll have the sections, we're not just like everyone else, challenging gender roles, not just one way to be gay, we are family, the history of the gay and lesbian community, Stonewall, and where we are right now, which is right here on Queer Radio, CJN 91.5 FM, that's all coming up. So please stay tuned, we have first a track from Superlingua, this is called The Frog Dance. <laughs> I'm just feeling really intimidated. Okay. Intimate. okay. Um, I'm, uh, right now I'm with Melissa Mazar. Mazar, yeah. Mazar uh, of uh, CJM CJ CJ Radio. Five FM. Okay, what, what, what is your position here at the station, first of um, all? I'm a volunteer, and um, I was kind of talked into doing the arts focus show. Um, I, I can think of a million other people that would be better than me, but. Um, it seemed like I was the only one that was arts focused, which is the name of the show as well. Um, I'm, I'm an artist um, myself. I'm doing my uh, master's in fine art at the university here. And uh, I've been involved in the community for a while, and so I think that's why they thought I'd be a good person to host the show that kind of is supposed to be about Windsor and region artists and what's going on and stuff. So when you say artists, you mean visual arts? Visual arts, well? yeah, is mainly what, uh, what I'm kind of... Um, an ex well, not an expert, but I, I that, that, that's what I know. And you've sort of crossed arts. over into audio, like, like obviously. Um, well, I mean, I think that the arts right now, uh, there's a lot of um, audio uh, experimental music that's going on, and, and it's quite a valid form of, of art making at the moment. Um, so, I, yeah, I have been focusing a lot on, um, uh, like, there's, for example, there's Throbbing Bristle and Miranda July and Dan Lander, who, I, Dan Lander's Canadian, and... Uh, um, a lot of community people in the community that are doing um, audio uh, work in their in their art. Um, so I've been kind of, I've been yeah, I've been focusing a lot on, on that. And how um, how does one get into uh, DJing or getting involved with uh, a, a radio call station? station? Call a station. It's really it's really easy to get a show. Um, at the moment, probably um, there's there's not many slots, but I mean, there's a show that uh, two ten year old. Uh, ten, two ten-year-olds do, and I walked in one day and I was just listening. I'm like, this is amazing! And I looked in and like the little door and saw these, you know, these people that can't even reach the microphones, and it was they're putting on an amazing uh, show. Um, so I mean, it's like anyone in the community at all can have a radio show. Like anyone can. It doesn't have to be age specific or anything. Like it's it's pretty wonderful. Like and I think Windsor's pretty cool that way because there's a you know there's a range, there's a, a very eclectic range. Of, of uh, shows on uh, CJM. So y you see it as a chance for uh, anybody to get exposure, whether they oh, yeah. th they want to uh, DJ or even uh, if they're a performer and they want their stuff. Uh, how do they go about it? Like uh, some some people um, who are just starting out in the industry, like as far as music's concerned, anyways. Um, feel very frustrated about getting any kind of exposure. Um, how do you see where uh, the community, uh, well I should say college radio comes in? Um, well I think uh, we have a mandate that we have to play a certain amount of um, new and Canadian um, content um, like on our shows so um, if you are in a band and you want to you know promote yourselves like just drop it into like all the radio stations across Canada and, and you will probably be played at some point or other so I, I mean um, yeah like we have a lot of a lot of sh like indie shows and um, I mean that's basically why we're here is for you know is for uh, new bands you know that's I understand that there's a, there's like a, a chart for for the college stations yeah. where, where somebody uh, if they release something it could be rated from 1 to 20 yeah. Yeah. is that right yeah yeah so I don't know a lot about that because I'm not like I'm the spoken word kind of half but uh, okay well, but maybe, yeah, there is maybe we could uh, em emphasize on the spoken word part, <laughs> like just because, like, I don't want to ask you something out of your leave yeah, that's, that's out of my yeah, okay, <laughs> jurisdiction. Yeah, sorry, that's fine. Like, well, this is rolling. I, we edit it later, anyways, yeah. right? So, like, I, I wouldn't worry too much. <laughs> yeah, you, you can say, you can say anything you want, and you know, like, we're not going to make you look bad because that makes us look bad. Right? <laughs> okay. And we um. do a good job of that, <laughs> <laughs> or can. Uh, so um, yeah, like I do. There's uh, there's quite a few spoken word programs. Um. What 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 exactly uh, constitutes spoken word? Like 
keep in mind, uh, you know, like if there's anybody tuning into the station, you know, like. Yeah, yeah um, well, spoken words basically interviews and um, more, well, more talking than, than music, but I mean, we're not, we're not, it's not like we can't play music at all, because I, I do play a lot of music on my show, but um, it's, it's, the focus is on, um, like, getting interviews with, uh, with local artists and, um, you know, telling what, uh, what's going on in the community, arts-wise, and, uh, um, Does poetry fall into that? Uh, yes, there's uh, the program before mine actually is a literary arts show, and she does a lot of poetry and, and um, reads uh, poetry as well as uh, interviews poets and writers and that kind of thing. So that uh, our shows kind of um, are married in that way that she does the the literary and I do the visual kind of thing. So um, it's worked out fairly well. So we're kind of back to back on Monday nights. So. And, and people come out, they, they're they usually quite comfortable being interviewed? And um, I've had, well, this interview was uh, was amazing because um, I think uh, like Graham just kind of took over and I let him do that because I just seemed like he was doing a better job than I could have. But um, last week was, was difficult. I had um, two, uh, two artists on student, students that were, um, you know, never done this before and they were very, they were nervous and uh, it was hard to get anything out of them. So it was like trying to... To get anything at all out of them was kind of hard, so um, uh, that was a lot of dead air, <laughs> and that's hard. And, and and I mean, I'm like I'm a volunteer. I'm not, and you know, I don't do this as a living. I have never gone to school for it, so I don't know, you know, like I'm not. I don't think I'm a really good interviewer. I just kind of, you know, I I have this forum, and I'm just trying to get, you know, people that want to, you know, promote their stuff. So it's kind of up to them to come to me and uh, tell me that they want to do something. I, I have been like you know going out and, and seeking people out, but um, largely it's people that say, "Hey, I want to do something," and, and like I have the show, then I'll do it. You know, so uh, so these people did, but they really didn't have anything a <laughs> lot to talk about, <laughs> which was kind of unfortunate because their art was uh, was fairly interesting, and I, I was trying to you know, talk about their art, but it was it's difficult. So, so you find people are usually appreciating like given a sh being given a shot. Like, wh what's the audience uh, like? Uh, in no terms of numbers, like for your show, <laughs> any oh, I idea? Have no idea? Probably not very many. Um, it, it's my kind of. I have to like. I should be promoting it, but I think I just started in September doing this, so um, I'm trying, like, just trying to get my feet wet and getting like more like knowing what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable um, with it. So I think now I kind of start getting posters out because it's not like people don't know that it's out there, but. Um, um, I, I don't know. I, I would I, I would uh, be embarrassed to say how many people <laughs> listened. I'm not sure if even like a handful. So, but uh, uh, but hopefully, like I, I mean, I'm 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 really enjoying it, and hopefully, you know, you know, I think it, it's a good it's a good forum for for community what, artists. What's the range of the station like it's, in terms um, of area? Approximately like I just, yeah, I know. 50k I just, uh, or something like that, or maybe not even that. Um, no, it's 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 pretty broad. It does uh, Detroit, like it goes over to Detroit and uh, like all of Windsor. So so it's you got a potential. Broad. You got a potential large. Uh, yes, I, I mean Detroit. The, like the fact that Detroit is there is is like really, I think what makes CGM like a potentially really important radio station because it's you know it bridges like American and Canadian. And Do you get calls from like? Yeah. Oh yeah, from from, from Detroit. Detroit. Mm -hmm. My first my first call actually was from Detroit, and uh, he, like I was playing some um, Kathy Acker, who's an artist who uh, is not she's a performance artist, and she um, like there are some tracks on the, the CD that I played that were kind of you know sexually explicit or not for children, and and um, you know I'm, I'm supposed to you know have a lis listener discretion cart before I play and I'd forgotten so I was apologizing after um, she was on and I got a call and he was like don't you shouldn't apologize this is CJM this is like a, a radio station for it's like you're doing a wonderful job and so it was great like this guy was from New Charlie so it's it good that's great I, I'd like to thank you for, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time and uh, hopefully everything works out